for less? Is it because we don't really know that we deserve more? When women marry men, they take the man's last name, almost like the man owns the woman now. The role of a mother and a wife tells us that no, you take a backseat to your husband. One day he didn't want to marry me, he was with somebody else and he just left. If you're looking for somebody else to love you, to fill the void that you need to fill yourself when you wake up in the morning, then that's why you settle. Sometimes they have really, really low self-esteem. My self-esteem was so low, so really whatever I got, I just thought that's what I deserve. Either past or, you know, current experiences. I lost my brother and then my father to suicide. I was molested as a child. One of the hardest things for my parents or even myself at 10 years old to understand how does this happen? I can't do everything for everyone. I had to say, you know what? No. Put a value on yourself. Because if you don't have a sense of who you are, you don't even have a standard. I started walking differently. I loved myself in a way where if someone else saw me, they would have seen that confidence. You deserve this. What do I have that's going for me that I can laser focus in on? In that self-discovery and understanding the true power of who I was, was not in my look, was not in my sex, was not in my economic background, but it was in the power of the Spirit of God that was on the inside of me and that I was a unique expression. I now could say, these are the things I like, these are the things I want, and this is what I deserve and I won't tolerate anything less.